Why are your charges too high? When are you bringing back the delisted coins? I have never won a giveaway from Roku even after using the platform for many years. Why is that? Hi everyone. My name is Onomo Esiogene Benjamin. I'm the CEO of Roku. We've been getting a lot of um, questions from you, our customers, and you know, we decided to take out the time, you know, to answer some of the, you know, very prominent ones. Why is it difficult to make deposits on Roku? I'm just going to be as you know brief as possible you know, to try and explain the situation. So, if you can recall, in 2021 February, the central bank released a memo you know, basically barring, you know, financial institutions in Nigeria from operating with, you know, with cryptocurrency companies like Roku. You know, so that presented, you know, a lot of difficulties. Customers were no longer able to, you know, send money to the Roku system using the conventional methods which we had um, at the time. Even right now, uh, within your banking institutions, if you were to send, say, 20,000 naira to somebody else using a crypto narration, you know, your account is actually going to get flagged. So what we did as a company was we had to build a you know, very novel P2P system of bringing in money through third parties. It's not the best experience, but you know, it works. That was one way we were able to you know, keep operations alive and keep you, know, you you know, depositing fine on the system to be able to invest in you know, the cryptocurrencies that you love. So though it's not the best experience, we're constantly working to, you know, improving it, making it much better. Over time, we do expect to, you know, to get a different memo that would, um, you know, turn things around. And when that happens, um, which we're praying it does, um, we're going to connect the entire platform back to the conventional uh, methods that we were using. So you'll be able to deposit using your, your debit cards, you'll be able to deposit using bank transfers, USSD, and all those many other methods that you love to use. What is XRP tag? So this question, you know, um, is a bit technical. I'll try to you know, keep it as simple as I can. So some blockchains work with what we call a messaging system. Blockchains like Ethereum, blockchains like XRP, Steam, and Hive. These blockchains have um, a messaging system built right into them. For XRP, they use a very particular type of messaging system called a tag. So when I send you XRP or you send me XRP, it is optional to add an XRP tag. So that tag basically helps you know, the receiver identify who sent the money and, um, you know, what the purpose is for that particular transaction. For exchanges just like Roku, the XROP tag helps us identify that you were the one that sent that particular XROP. So what we do is we generate multiple XROP tags for everyone. So each person have their own that is dedicated to them. So while we all use the same XROP address, we have different XRP tags. So if I were to send you XRP, I have to use your XRP tag. That's how the tagging system works on the XRP blockchain. Why does it take too long to get verified on Roku? Um, taking this back to the, you know, the memo from 2021, um, this not just impacted financial institutions, but also regular you know, compliance systems that we were connected with, like the BVN systems and all of that. So, you know, this basically created like a huge gap. You know, we had to build these systems, some of them ourselves, to be able to perform KYC. So while it might appear as though it takes long to get verified, well, what we did was we had to build this entire system ourselves. So basically that presented a challenge but right now, as we speak, the KYC system is up and running, works very, very well. I used it myself, fantastic. So for those persons who have this question, what I would urge you to do is, you know, update your mobile app, give it another spin, and you will get verified pretty easily. Why are your charges too high? Okay, so there are multiple ways of looking at this. Um, 
first, Roku has a zero deposit fee and zero withdrawal fees. One other very important thing to take a look at is Roku also has the cheapest sending fees for any crypto. So when you want to send Bitcoin, you want to send Ethereum, you want to send USDT, Roku hands down has the cheapest crypto sending fees. Zero deposit fees and zero withdrawal fees. The only place Roku ever charges a fee is on the trading fees itself. So when you want to swap from Naira to Bitcoin or Bitcoin to Naira and vice versa, that is the only place Roku does charge a fee. And what does this fee help us do? This fee helps us you know, keep the operations running, helps us pay our staffs, helps us pay for the server infrastructure, pay for all the other services that Roku relies on. So while you might look at it as it's, it's a high fee, but really it's not because of the many services it takes to keep the platform operational. Why is there only one means of depositing on Roku? So just like I had mentioned, um, Roku relies on third-party services to be able to perform Naira deposits on the platform. And this is made possible through our very large and extensive P2P network. So there is not just one way of depositing through Roku, uh, but there are multiple ways which we are currently working on to be able to make them available to you. Why does my deposit not reflect even after I have been debited? You know, sometimes when you withdraw, it takes uh, you know, a couple of minutes for our P2P merchants to be able to get your funds to your bank account. Sometimes this can take somewhere between five minutes to sometimes around 30 minutes. Um, this varies, but it's never too long. And the primary reason why this happens is because Roku relies on a very extensive and large P2P network system for deposits and withdrawals. When are you bringing back the delisted coins? So Roku does have over 100 coins listed on the platform. And what we do, we regularly perform checks on all these tokens to be sure that they meet the standards which we have as a company. This is to keep your funds protected. This is to also protect you from investing your funds or your money in projects you know, that aren't so reputable. So when we list a coin, we first vet them before we put them on the platform. While they're on the platform, something could change about that project. Something could happen that could impact that project negatively. A project could have gotten hacked. A project could have had, you know, platform issues or whatever. So what we do as a company is we constantly perform checks on these tokens to ensure that they meet the right standards before we deliver them to you. So at any point in time where we discover a token is no longer as compliant as it's supposed to be to stay on the Roku platform, we get them delisted. And before we delist a token, we do proper sensitization. We inform you, we put out notices on our social media, we send app notifications, we write articles to inform you about it. We also give ample time for you to be able to convert these assets you know, into fiat and then invest in other projects as well. So while you are concerned that when are we going to bring them back on, I cannot tell you that we are bringing back those tokens. If something does change about them, we can bring them back. But right now, um, Roku has no intention of bringing any delisted token back to the platform unless something significant changes about those projects. I have never won a giveaway from Roku even after using the platform for many years. Why is that? So our giveaway system is completely transparent. I understand why you might feel left out from the goodies, but really the platform and how we share our giveaways are completely transparent. We do random picks on social media. We do random picks on the mobile app and on the website as well. One thing to bear in mind is Roku has 1.6 million customers. And while we take each customer to be very important to us, you know, that's still a large number. So there's a high possibility that, you know, there is no way it's going to get to every single person. So whilst, you know, this is, you know, something of concern, we want to urge you to not lose faith and not lose trust. 
um, tomorrow might just be your own lucky day. How come I never get any rubies for rock and roll? So on this, I'm going to, you know, basically explain what we are doing with rock and roll. Rock and roll isn't just, you know, one game in isolation. Rock and roll is part of a much larger game fire ecosystem that Roku is building for you. So whilst, you know, you want the rubies right now, I can tell you that we are working actively on building a full gaming ecosystem within the Roku app. And what that means is we're already, you know, building out the, how you're going to use the rubies, how we're going to, you know, integrate them into the product stack. So before we start crediting the rubies for using the app, we are currently still considering how everything is going to tie together. Within the next few weeks, we're going to start releasing the rubies to you while also bringing out a new version of the rock and roll. To also add to that, we're not just bringing the rock and roll, we're bringing other games as well, you know, that you're going to have fun playing, that you're going to enjoy, you know, playing on the Roku app. So these are, you know, um, very important things that we're working on, you know, to make, to make your entire experience much more better. Um, if you do have any more questions, you know, which you want to ask, feel free to drop us an email on our customer support channels or reach out to us on social media um, at Roku HQ on Instagram and at Roku Pay on Twitter. Thank you so much for, you know, watching this. We, we love to have you because of you, Roku exists. Thank you and have a lovely day.